Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, welcome you back. And a friend of mine asked if we, I could uh, look at Working Man's Loose. And I was like, well, heck yeah. Um, so uh, there's a couple cool things about that. I don't play it exactly like Roy Nichols does because he's Roy Nichols and I'm Marcus True Love. <laughs> I'm not Roy Nichols. And, uh, but I can give you the basic idea of what he's thinking. I always, I always think it's more important instead of copying exactly what everyone is playing, like note for note, is to get what they're thinking because they weren't playing that solo note for note of that song. They were just playing the way that they play and it's how it came out on the record. And most likely most people don't pay, play things note for note when, they, when they're live. They play it really close and they, because and otherwise it just becomes stagnant and dull for them. All right, so one of the cool things that they do is, uh, that he, Roy Nichols does, so he does this thing called chicken picking. It's like, All right, so that's based off of an A blues scale. All right, instead of going this with your flat three, he goes, so. So that's how it starts off. You can see, so I'm going, tick a tick, tick a tick, tick a tick. Oh, my tuners tell me that I'm in tune. Thank God for that. <laughs> um, so, it brings up a point. Every time you pick up a guitar, you should always tune it. That way your ears always in tune with the, with the actual notes. All right, I'm gonna go back, uh, I digress. So, and I'm pulling up with this and I'm using a pick. So it goes a kind of, that kind of a sound. And then he goes, um, so this is kind of a cool riff. Um, what you're basically doing is So this is a flat three, right? And then you're hammering on to the third, and then you're um, playing the fourth. So it's a chromatic run-up like... And if you see my right hand... And notice my hand always lays on the guitar. You know, I'm always blocking these strings up above what my hand's doing on my left hand and below what I'm doing on my right hand, I'm always blocking that up. So he does that for the most songs like <laughs> and I'm doing open E to a G, which is a flat seven of the A chord into the A. Now for the, the four, uh, four chord, when he goes up there to the, to the uh, D, you can either do it there, go up to the 10th fret, or you can go to the fifth fret, now this is gonna be different. It's gonna be like your A7, A minor seven, I mean. So it'll be it'll be right here, so it'll be like a D minor seven for you. And you're just gonna hammer on with your pinky, which will give you the major third. And then you'll slide that forward for the uh, for the sus four. Uh, whoops. All right, so when you do turnarounds like that, a lot of times you, uh, you'll hear people go, well, it's a little busy for like a country song. One note uh, riffs are pretty effective on doing that. Um, you can play the full chord, but it sounds really square as far as like, it's pretty harsh sounding. So that, you know, um, you can do something like that if you want, or you can do octaves. Just at that fifth, it sounds more like, has more of that sound. And you want this, all right? So when you're doing chicken picking, you can play the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. Remember, this is my four finger roll. Um, I, I, I learned this on accident, but I was like, oh, hey, look, you know? Um, so if you're, um, your pinky is on the major, the one, like if we're in the key of A, that's gonna be major, uh, major pentatonic. 
And then if your relative major, minor, rel major and minor, four finger roll, four fingers apart. Here's your relative minor, there's your relative major. So um, we're gonna use the same scale starting on the same note, but so your minor, your blues scale. So you can be like. And it gives it like this really weird sound like you're playing some kind of crazy thing, but you're really, you're playing a blues scale. Going down to major pentatonic. Oops, there we go. <laughs> so you get that. Now that kind of thing where it sounds like you're playing all over the place, but really you're just playing a blue scale a major pentatonic scale, and then you're uh, spelling out the chords, like I'm going A, then an, a, and I'm, this is an A to an A, D pattern A, F pattern A, and then I'm, I'm like, oh man, look, here I'm at the D chord. Or, you know, I'll play around like, playing around with that and then E so I can play and so I'm going from this E which is an F to this E which is a, like a, an A pattern then I'm back to the A you know, like Brent Mason thing So I'm going A major to A uh, major or dominant seven. Yeah. You can tell I don't do that a lot anymore. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully that gives you some ideas of, of how I look at it and um, maybe how Roy Nichols was thinking of it. And um, if you have any questions, please send me comments. And if you have something that you want to learn and, <laughs> and I can play it, I will, I will definitely try to help out. Have a great night, everyone. Stay safe.